Hello and welcome to Insights from Autistic. I am Armand Kodai, and uh, this is my brother Edward. Um, he is 18 years old and he just graduated uh, high school. And today's episode is titled Siblings, so we're going to talk about how uh, how I have affected my, my brother's life, um, how my autism might have played a role in his life. So I'm going to ask him some questions and he's going to answer them. So how are you doing today, Edward? I'm doing all right. Well, I, I'm most awesome too. So the first question is, how have I influenced you over the years? Give give some examples. Um. Well, you've always been there for me. That's one thing, you know. Like, you've um. Okay, uh, we'll move on to another question. <laughs> Could you tell when you were younger that something was different about me? Could you? Well, you are more you are more to yourself. I could tell that. Like whenever we ate dinner, you would always eat dinner in a different room or in the basement. In the basement, or you you would always stay in your room playing your your music and never talk to people. You know, that's. That's what I noticed a lot when I was a little kid. Hmm. What sort of impact do you feel my autism has had on your life growing up? Well, I think I've learned a lot of a lot of things about autism, first of all, and then I've learned a lot of stuff that um, you focused on yourself as well. As like some examples I focus like. Like, um, Star Wars, for example, I'm pretty sure I know a lot more about it now than I used to. That's very valid. I used to be, um, an extreme Star Wars collector, and, uh, I know more than I should about Star Wars, is all I'm going to say. Alright, so, next question. What are some things you remember both good and bad about me that has left an impression that has helped you form as a person that you are? Well, I would say that I've had you as a role model. You were always ahead of the game as in knowledge, so I've always pursued knowledge more myself. But a negative was that you were always you always had tantrums, and I think that affected me a little bit as well. I, I became more of a... I had more tantrums when I was a little kid as well. And yeah, about that. Hmm. What do you think has helped you the most? I would say that pursuit of knowledge would hmm. help me the most because I feel like I know more than I, and I believe that I still need to know more. All right, here's a we're almost the last question. What are some characteristics of, characteristics of my autism? That stand out, that stood out when you were growing up, or still stand out for you today. Still seem to focus on stuff a lot. You get uh, an idea stuck in your head, and you you go with it, and that's that's oh, that's a good thing. It's commitment, and and you know, that's something to, that I wish I could have myself is that dedication to something. Well, thank you. And so, for the final question, just do you have any last comments or concerns that you may wish to impart on our viewers and parents? I'd say that um, if you're if you're a sibling of an autistic, um, I would say that don't look at them as a as a handicap. Just look at it as a different personality. It's not something bad. It's just. They, they view things differently than, like, I would. And what about for the parents? I would pretty much say the same thing. It's just it's just a personality, more or less. It's how you, how you do things. All right, well, thank you very much, Edward, and that is all for today's episode of Insights from Autistic. Thank you, and remember that if you have any questions about my support group in California, uh, in Claremont, California, 
Be sure to write me a message and I'll give you all the details about that. Thank you and have a most awesome day.